Hi, Clint here at Cave Sanitary Supply. Today I want to talk to you about proper battery maintenance of your lead acid batteries. All right, why do we want to talk about this? Well, really it's a couple things. One, it's that there's some supply chain shortages going on right now. So it's very difficult to get some sizes of lead acid batteries as well as your AGM or uh, maintenance free batteries. So that's important. Uh, reason number two, probably about 90% of the calls I get on battery powered equipment really goes back to the battery itself, not a mechanical issue on the scrubber or the sweeper or whatever it is. So it's really important to properly maintain these batteries. So let's jump right into um, how can we maintain these batteries well. Number one, add water. I'm gonna get to that in a second and show you how to add water, but that's probably about the biggest and best thing that you can do for your batteries is making sure you're adding water at the proper time. Number two um, is don't let your batteries run all the way out. So if you're running an auto scrubber or a sweep or whatever it is, try not to run it all the way until it's completely dead. You do that enough times, that's really hard on lead acid batteries. And then really number three, if you're not going to run your equipment for a while, um, charge it th completely full before you're um, going to basically take it out of commission, that piece of equipment out of commission, because lead acid batteries, they lose their charge just sitting there and that will also kill a battery. Okay, how do we properly add water to your lead acid battery? Well, first things first, make sure you're wearing PPE. Uh, the second thing is make sure you're doing it at the proper time, and that proper time is after your machine has fully charged. And once we got that all straight, we're gonna go ahead and pop off the vent cap of your battery. And then we have the issue of what level do we fill this battery to. What we don't wanna see is the lead plate. If you see the lead plate, that's bad. If you see no water at all, that's really, really bad, all right? But what we want to do is fill above the lead plate, but we don't want to overfill where it's coming above the, the cap. So we want to have kind of halfway between the bottom of the cap in there and the, um, the lead plate. So we're going to take our distilled water, and this is important. We want to make sure it's distilled. Um, that's just going to allow your battery to last longer. And we fill it up, making sure we have an overfill, all right? We're going to do that to each of these cells, all right? This is the bonus section on battery maintenance. Um, what I'm going to show you is a couple tools that you can use to really check um, really the life expectancy and how your battery, the health of your battery. And so one tool you can use is a load tester. This is a really simple little device that you just connect on the positive and negative leads and you're going to push a button and that's going to apply a load, basically a little heater. And you can see if your battery is going to hold up under a load. Um, it's going to kind of give a um, bad, weak, okay rating, all right? And that's something that we do sometimes out in the field is to use a little load tester. Another device that you might want to use um, is just a, a voltometer, all right? You can just check and see, hey, this is a 12 volt battery. Um, let's see where the voltage actually sits at. Um, run it a little while and see how much it's dropped. That does tell us um, quite a bit. Sometimes we'll even run a piece of equipment with this hooked up and we'll just watch um, that load drop as we run it. That's even more effective than this thing because this is not real world, but when your scrubber's running, we can check voltage real world, and that's a really effective method of seeing, hey, are these batteries okay, are they not? Um, one tool that you guys, anyone could have, would be just a little um, hydrometer. And this is, you can check um, cell by cell what's the health of each of these battery cells. So you can just stick this guy down in here, um, suck the water up, and it's gonna tell you for instance, this one shows fair, almost on the good. Um, I just checked another um, cell and it shows bad, or kind of in that bad range. And we know that this battery, you need the whole pack to be working. So if you have one cell that's bad, unfortunately the whole battery is probably um, on its way out. If you have any questions um, or any things that you want to know more about battery maintenance or equipment maintenance or any needs, um, please contact us. Our goal is to be your partner for clean and safe environments. Thanks for watching.